Hello out there, this is Taft TV and we are the government house of River State. We are here because of the verdict that was given by the Supreme Court, declaring Governor Fubara as the bona fide governor of River State. If you look behind me, you will see where people are leaders all over the place, celebrating and making merry. That is to say, the governor actually has won the position. Congratulations to Governor Fubara. Now we want to hear what people in the streets, people in this government house have to say about it. Let's know if they are happy about the ruling or let's know if they are angry about the ruling. Stay put. This is Staff TV. My name is Obed Jerry, your host for today. Okay, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, my brother. Uh, right now, we are at the government house of River State, all for the reason of the Supreme Court's verdict on making uh, Governor Fubara the bona fide governor of River State. What do you have to say about that? Well, I'm very happy because it's a, a time that we are waiting for. And today, we have seen the reality. I know that uh, this is a good Nigeria that we are looking for. In a time like this, we need to believe that there's a good Nigeria. And today, we have seen it. Somebody like Sin. Our own sim is not the man that will just just scatter the integrity of him. So today I am very excited and I'm very happy, and I know that now that the good governors will come, good governor will come because I believe in him and I know what he can do for the common man. More especially for the common man, I know that something he did in uh, concerning the workers, workers wages. He gave them hundred thousand. That shocked me that since I was since I was born and I'm living in this river state, I've not seen that kind of thing. And I I am very happy when I heard that. And I know that this will give us a good governor. Okay, sir, you are happy at the moment and so has every other person in this premises, they are happy. Yeah. Do you think other people outside these premises are happy too about this verdict? Highly sure. Because why I said it, when we had it this thing around that, around ten o'clock. And um, we had that uh, the judgment that have been fair here and they have to conclude. Everybody, the masses are still coming. This one is just a little. The masses are still coming. When they will come, when they come, the gate will open. We'll go there and celebrate with the young man, the youngest governor the youngest governor in River State. We need to celebrate with him. I'm happy to see him one-on-one -on -one because I believe in him. He's my governor. Anytime he speak, he speak with integrity. There's integrity on him that nobody can collect. Nobody will snatch it from him. Whether the eight-point agenda or not, we don't care. What we need is he need to give us a good governor. Look at the internal, all this, this um, the road that the infrastructure and the human capital he development. Ring the ring road. Look at what he's doing. Nobody have complained that he have never received his payments. Any demolition, pay, serially. Nothing like, you are my brother, you are my sister, you are not my brother, you are not my sister. That is what we need. It's a, it's a governor I like. I like Sim, I like Sim, and I like him forever. Okay, now let's deviate a little bit. Some persons say that um, Wiki, the minister of the FCT, is meddling in reverse politics and he should back out from it. Why some persons are saying he has been Fubara's godfather and he should continue putting Fubara through? What are you? What are your thoughts? Yes, on that? Let me tell you, that's what is called godfather racing. And uh, the, our people normally talk one parable: who the cap fits, let him wear it. And uh, the cap have already fit him. And there's somebody that make him to put to become a governor today. What I'm praying for him that we should not forget the past. Good afternoon, sir. Yeah, good afternoon. Uh, we are at the government house actually now because of the verdict that was given by the Supreme Court, right? Now, everybody here is making merry, everybody is happy. What do you have to say about this? It's a good one for the states. We need peace and we want the government to concentrate. We don't want any distraction. People ask people who accepted him and we are happy that this has come and gone. And we will not, we will not have time to do the things which he promised the people. We are happy. Okay, now, let's say everybody inside this premises of the government house is happy, is making merry. Do you think this happiness lingers outside, like everybody outside is still happy over the same thing? Uh, I will say my opinion, because Correct. virtually everybody has been praying that there should be peace in the state. Because if there's no peace, how would the state move forward? Exactly. We want the state to move forward, like other states, like Lagos. We want development. If there's distraction, how would the man work? So, I would say, of my opinion, that 60% are happy. 
They want to see their governor. At least it's okay. Yes, they want their, they want to see their governor. They want to see their governor working. They want to see those promises he made to to be rolled out. So to me, if in my opinion, I think the state is happy. Okay, now what do you have to say as regards Wiki and? Fubara in this river state politics because many people are saying he should remove his hands from river politics but we are noting that he is Fubara's godfather as regards politics what do you have to say about that is normal that is politics godfatherism is normal you don't i'm not saying godfatherism is normal you must attend to to any high through somebody it's normal in politics whatever their difference is they will also settle one day it's normal. It's normal. But it, the truth means that we want peace. And that peace will bring development in the state. Okay, one last question. What do you have to say? What opinion, suggestion are you giving to Governor Fubara as regards those persons that contested the election with him? We want a unity government. Okay. We want people to be carried along. In my own opinion, I was asking to invite them to bring their own ideas and share. If they also love reverse side, they should also meet him. We have to work together. Collective effort, this state will move forward. That is our prayer and that is what our desire is. That is our desire. One person must win. All cannot win at the same time. He has a match, he has a match. Whichever way, he's God's choosing. We have to support him for the development of this state. Okay, thank you very much, sir. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon. Okay, mommy, we are at the government house currently, based on the verdict that was given by the Supreme Court, making Governor Fubara the bona fide government, Governor of River State. What do you have to say about that? Oh, I'm so happy that God answered prayer. Indeed, God answered prayer. I want to tell people that uh, when you know God, hold God strong. God answered prayer. I remember sometime in November, Honorable Solomon A.K., the former Obiak War Chairman, called me and said I should bring in some bishops, some pastors. Let's start praying every Monday. And I told him that what we're going to give it will be great victory at last. And I took a scripture from 2 Samuel, 2 Samuel 23 verse 12. He said, but he stood in the midst of the ground and defended it and slew the Philistines and the Lord brought a great victory. So today we are celebrating that victory at last that God did for the governor of River State. I'm so happy that God answered the prayer and I want to let people know that indeed God answered prayer. Whatever you do, hold God faith. So you're trying to say that just because of Governor Fubara, you held a prayer, yes. a prayer ground? Yes. Every Monday we are praying. Every Monday and now that the thing was coming to an end, and it wasn't done by doing... only you? No, it wasn't done by only me. There were some bishops, some archbishops, some pastors, ministers. We joined to Together. We are many, more than 50 of us come together and we always pray. We are praying for this victory to come and today the victory came. So okay. we are happy that God had us. Okay, now we see that people everywhere around the government house is celebrating the victory. Everybody is happy. Do you think people outside here are happy too? Yes, a lot of persons are happy. A lot of people are happy because when someone gets victory of what you are looking for, victory, I tell people that victory, when you have not fought a battle, you will not know the meaning of victory. Exactly. You know, you would think I just a name. I have a sister that answer victory. I have a friend that answered victory, but when you have fought a battle and you hear the word victory, you will know the meaning. So he fought a battle and he got a victory. So we that joined force in praying for this victory, we are happy because we know what it is. Okay, ma, now let's deviate a little bit now. We could see that governor, uh, ex-governor Wike, the minister of the FCT, is like a political godfather to um, Governor Fubara. Some persons are saying that he is meddling in reverse politics and he should back out. Why some other persons are saying he should continue since Governor Fubara is new into the game. What do you have to say about that? Um, I think what I have to say is that um, they will definitely settle themselves. One thing about based on father and son, they will certainly settle themselves. But what we need is for peace to reign because the Bible says, when the righteous rule, the masses enjoy. And I know that Governor Fubara is a Christian. And now that he will rule as a governor, we'll have peace. We'll all have peace to do our various things. So all I want to say is that both of them should come together and still behave as father and son. There shouldn't be crisis. We are not praying for crisis. We are not praying for because when two elephants fight, it is the grasses that suffer this. Exactly. Okay, one last question. What is your advice to Governor Fubara as regards? 
as those persons are contested the election with him. Um, I want to let him know that no matter what happened, he should not bother about it. That all it takes is for him to just relax. Those, even those that drag him to court, when you have victory, everybody comes your way because those that even look down on you, talk down on you, everybody will go first to say congratulations. Okay, so now, since everybody is telling congratulations, he can let go of some certain issues and move forward. What happened is I move forward, fall back, fall by the side, but keep falling forward. Okay, do you suggest he goes, calls them together to work and he had that, all he should he's, wait he's for a, them to come to him he's as a, the governor? He's a father. A father will always call for his sons and make them know that he's a father. That is what makes him a father. Okay. So he shouldn't okay. wait for them. He can call them and talk to them and let them know what they did is wrong. Of course, now many of them are regretting of what they did. So there is nothing to be waiting for them because he's already a governor now. There is nothing they can do about it. Okay. The only way they would have go is go to court and court has finished. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. I am Bishop Dr. Uche Juliet Elue, Jesus Baby One, the General Overseer of Better Evidence Assembly. Okay, thank, thank you very much. Ma. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Uh, we are at the government house as regards the verdict that the Supreme Court give. Now we are we are to affirm that Governor Fubara is the bona fide governor of River State. What do you have to say about that? Well, it is an expected judgment. It is a victory well deserved. It's victory for River's people. It's victory for the 23 local governments in River State. It's victory for the non-indigenous in River State. And it is victory for the future of River State, most importantly. Okay, do you think as everybody in this premises, in this government house at now, is making merry, everybody is happy, do you think hey, people outside the government house in River State, like in different environments in River State, are happy too about it? Of course, um, the victory of um, Sassimilale Fubara is, um, like I said earlier, victory for a majority of River's people because um, Sassimilale Fubara won on the wheel of reverse people. Exactly. He was the choice of the majority, a good percentage of the majority of reverse states. And it's expected that both people who are here and people who are not here celebrate same. Immediately the news came of his victory in the Supreme Court. We had a loud shout in the Secretariat and we thought something went wrong there. Suddenly we discovered that it was because of the announcement of the victory of Timela Ifubara. We heard a similar shout at the nearest big famous Portacourt Mall. That goes to say that everywhere, in every sector, I'm a, I'm a private businessman in my office, they call me to celebrate. I heard a sound in the background of the celebration of the announcement of Governor Simna Fubara as the winner of the 2023 elections validated by the Supreme Court. So I can bet you that a good majority, in fact, near 100% of rivers people are happy with his victory, except a few, a few persons who may not share in that joy for very personal reasons and we consider that as selfish and personal interest. Okay now we know that as Governor Fubara has been sworn in fully by the Supreme Court things would go well, things in River State would flourish. Now towards the angle of his godfather um, Wike, some persons are saying he's meddling in reverse politics that he has to leave Rivers politics and let Fubara rule on his own. Some persons are saying he brought Fubara, so he has to help Fubara through since Fubara has not been in this position for what do you have to say about that. First of all, Sassinala Fubara is a rivers man. Exactly. And he was born the same way anyone else was born. I'm very certain, and of course, as expected, when a father gives birth to a child, he expects his child to do better than the father. So one should ordinarily expect that the former governor if he claims, like he claims that he made Fubara, should be happy with his success, he should be happy with his progress, and should throw away any other interests and pursue the interests of the generality of reverse people. So I expect that going forward, I do not want to talk about what has happened in the time past. I expect that going forward, the governor of River State, former governor of River State, now FCC minister, and anyone else who is related to him would want to watch out for a successful River State, led by Governor Simnalaye. Fubara. Exactly. So now we are actually starting on a very clean slate. What do you have? To, what opinion or advice do you have for Governor Fubara as regards those persons that contested the election with him? Interestingly, he started on a very right with him. If you observe, if you watch Governor Fubara keenly, you will discover that this is a man who doesn't act before thinking. He thinks before doing. He makes sure that whatever it is he wants to do is justified. 
he makes sure that whatever it is he wants to do is well thought out. And he makes sure that it is in the interest of reverse people. So I'm very certain that by the way, judging by the way he started, I'm very certain that he would finish well. Okay, okay, thank you very much. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Yeah, right here in the government house of River State, we are here because of the verdict of the Supreme Court as regards making um, bon um, Governor Fubara the bona fide governor of River State. What do you have to say about that? Uh, I think it's a welcome development. Okay. Yeah, because we, the youth of the state, want a youthful, a youth, a youthful, a youthful personality as Fubara is to, to lead us. See, in every leader, there's a tenor for you. When you always there, when the tenors in route, go. Don't, don't transpass. I am so we are going to get conflict in the system. The ex governor has advisors, the young man have advisors. So they will collide. Exactly. I am so. So don't want this kind of crisis or shaking or waving in the state. We need peaceful administration to go on. So we are very happy for the verdict for Supreme Court. What the judges are doing in this country now, which is one of the best. Okay, now we know that this verdict now, according to most persons, this verdict now is a rightful one. Meaning that in time to come, River State will be in peace and River State will develop more. More. Now, what do you have to say as regards Fubara and Wike, his godfather? Okay, actually, friends can get, friends can, friendship can be going on. At the time, you can get this put, separate. After a while, you can reunite. You can reunite it again to continue. They can have their future friendship. It cannot be enemy forever. Like a politics here, yeah? you can't get, uh, uh, I mean, long-term uh, enmity. You can't can, uh, reserve a party to another party. Later, I can come back. So, Fubara and Wiki can re reunite again to the future. As of now, let man be on his own, on his own path, on his own lane. So, you're saying he should let Fubara run his government to run the the end, Yes, to switch because he also is a man. Wiki is a man. Fubara is a man who knows what, what it takes for the city of this state. Like in December, I have some friends that are civil servants. The young governor will not be able to dish out some kind of cash to them. It makes every family reverse it happy. Yes. That's, that's, a, that's, a, very, that's a very good track way of a governor to reduce the heat of the, of the city who is the governor. So what the former did in December was superlative. So all of us are praying behind him, supporting everybody behind him. Both as governors are behind it now. Okay, sir, one last question now. Um, what is your advice to Governor Fubara as regards this place with the people that contested this election with him and even those ones that took drag the case to court? I think my after a fight, I'm a sportsman, I'm a coach with mutual sports. After a fight, the winner have the sportsmanship. Bring bridge of people who continue together. Fubara will be on the track, on the track, on the track way for developing river state for river people. Focus on river development to make river state a better place and economics hub for people to come in and do their business. Let us have, you know, money, dollar, pounds flock into the state. That's what we need. Super is, super is our, our youth governor, so we are solidly behind it. We want to flow with it. We don't need distractor. Please. That's, that's what I have to say. Okay, thank you very much, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Uh, at the government house currently, we, can, we could see people making merry as regards the verdict that the Supreme Court gave making um, Governor Fubara the bona fide governor of River State. What do you have to say about that? Oh, that is a very good judgment. It has, it has come to show us that God has dedicated this man. And you can, just as you said, you can see the crowd. It was not hired, it was not paid. I that am here, I'm not paid. Nobody paid me for anything. But because of what God has done for this young man, make me to be here. And I'm very happy. People are happy. The old state is very happy. Not even, the, not even in government house here. Along, even along the road that I was coming. You see, all everywhere jubilating. So we thank God for the judgment. Okay, so now we have faith that this, as Governor Fubra doesn't have an obstacle at the moment, that River State would proceed and go on to development and make improvements. There will be peace in the state. Now, let's deviate a little bit towards the angle of Wike and Governor Fubara. Remember, Wike is like his political godfather. Some persons are saying he should stop meddling in Gov uh, River State politics. Some persons are saying he should continue putting Governor Fubara through. What do you have to say about that? Well, um, you see, in life, nobody succeeds alone. Exactly. Yes, I can equally put it in just in a parable form. That uh, those that make kings, they don't go to the palace. Exactly. If we could have gotten that aspect of not going to the palace, nobody, there's no argument about that. Even the young man, the president, the governor, he knows very well that his own my political godfather. And we could see everybody's making merry as regards the verdicts that was given today. So what do you have to say about it? Uh, first of all, my name is um, Comrade. AIA, Melvin, what's your name? HRH, King of Austria, or 20, Amadama. 
I am so happy because even in my expectation form, as I'm fasting for the one days. Okay, you fasted? Yes. I put this case in my expectation form. It's written boldly that God should turn the case of our governor to his favor. Oh, but when I had, immediately I saw it, I ran to government house. Without minding my status or my person as a Tajana man or the title man. I ran to government house. My, with, with my, I was fasting. But I came here without my fasting. With fasting, I broke it down here. I'm not because the Supreme Court has shown us that truly they have justice. Same, our governor is the man of peace. Even when a man, a law government chairman, insulted him openly as a governor, the man keep quiet because he's the man of peace. If he's my own person as a governor, or the man governor, that, that man will not say anything again to insult me as a person. So, same, this uh, Supreme Court judge man can see everybody is very because we love him. See if we're going to have him. Sympathy of everybody in the United States. The ABC, the L, 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 Labour Party, the AFGA, and the PDP. I am of Atiku. Come, a watch chairman of Atiku 120. But I voted for same because it's a PDP man. At Atiku, I voted for all PDP members. So I am so happy, so impressed that my governor has won. And he will rule after eight years. You are not an a German. Thank you. Okay, now we could see that this government's house now is crowded with people that are making marries. Are we to accept also that people outside the government's house are happy about this wedding? Yes, 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 yes. They are very happy, very, very happy. They accept it in a, in a good faith. Everybody is going to be happy that they are doing one or the other or they are at work. But for now, every other person, 90% is for sin. We love it. Okay, now we, we see the Supreme Court has given the final verdict on it. So, so um, Fubara becomes the bona fide governor of River State. Now, what do you have, to, what um, advice do you have for him as regards those people that contested with him? What is it to do with them? My advice to our Abebo governor is to bring those people that contested with him, bring them close, call them for a, a group of meeting, negotiate with them. There's no, there's no victor, there's no vanquish. Go there together, work with them, and make sure to, to move the state forward. Finish. Okay, thank you very much. Good morning, sir. Good morning also to you. Okay, I would like your, your what you have to say about, we see how, according to the verdict, given a few hours ago, everybody is making merry as regards the government's house. What do you have to say about it? In fact, this is the best thing that has happened to the reverse people. We have been liberated from the hands of one wicked man. The man who feels that it is only him that can, can call the shots in the first game. But never knew that God in heaven is working. I want to tell all politicians who think that they are God, they should go back and read the book of Jeremiah chapter 23 verse 23. That place is a lesson. And I'm, I'm also advising the former governor that he should redress himself and beg rivers people for all the evil he has committed in River State. If not, the anger of God will not leave him alone. He forgot that he swore so many things. And those things that he swore, the power of the tongue, he forgot. He's looking at he's taking it, looking at himself as bigger than God. But God is, if he does not beg the rivers people, he's going to go down, down the drain more than this. Without God, without the Supreme God for giving us justice. And rivers people are happy. We commend the, the current governor. We want him, we will work with him. We will make sure that he succeed. But one thing is that we will not allow tyrant to rule River State again. Okay, um, I wanted to ask, but you, you've already said it yeah. that don't you, do you think the merriment inside here is the same that is happening outside this government house? Yes. Like everybody is happy that everybody. Kubara is the bona fide uh, governor of River State. Yes. Now, one last question. Some persons say that Wike is helping me out as his godfather. Do you think Wike has to remove his hand totally or let him be? Wike should let Kubara be and rule or Wike should still assist him as Wike has no the look and crannies on River State? Wike has a portfolio. Exactly. He should face his job. Allow, as, as Minister for the City, allow the governor to do the to, to rule River State. 
In fact, from the few, the few six months, the, few, the six months the governor have ruled, we have seen changes in River State. Workers have been promoted. Civil have are giving hundred thousand naira as Christmas bonus, which has never happened in this state before. So we guys should face this a ministerial duty and allow the governor to develop River State because. We see that this young man, going through as a civil servant, knows what to do. So he shall allow the civil servant, the governor, to work and develop rivers people. Rivers people are happy with the governor. Okay, sir. Then what's your advice to governor, the bona fide president, uh, governor of River State, as regards those persons that contested with him in the election? Of course. Um, what is what has happened now? The governor should take less, to learn lessons from it, from it. That it is not by his power; it is by the will of God. So, for those who have got, who contested with him and failed, I will advise the governor to call them and work with them as a team, so that we, the university will go forward. But for Wike, we should not get close to him. The university will have rejected Wike, and we are saying, we are warning this governor, our governor, that he should not get close to Wike. Wike, Wike is say is, is, is worse than a, a, a viper. Now, the people of River State, now, most persons are saying Wike should remove his hand from River's politics because he doesn't have anything to do with this environment, like he's the minister of the FCT. But since Wike is one of the persons that made him get into power, don't you think it would be like a form of betrayal? I, I, I don't know what people call betrayal. Nobody has made himself in this world. Exactly. Somebody makes somebody. Exactly. Now, let me ask a question. Where did Wike bring the money to make Sobra? Is it not a collect the, the money of River State? So what? I don't know what people call betrayal. So Wike, Sobra has never at any time betrayed Wike. In fact, Wike is the worst betrayal. Did he not betray Jonathan's wife? So what are we talking? It deceived the woman. The woman made him governor. Not quite one week. In one month. He threw away with her. So, but, but why, why, so what is he talking? All that he acquired was from mistake. Come to talk of it. Why is, why is the salary of a governor? Why is the salary of a governor? That he, he has all what he has today. Because I know I, the salary of a governor is over two million naira. So all this property, where did he get it from? Where did he, has he worked before? So I don't know what people said. Fobra has never betrayed him. Fobra behaved like a man. Fobra was the donor sent to deliver reverse people. So he had never betrayed anybody. That is my take on that. Thank you very much, sir. Good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon. Uh, it's good to meet you in this environment. We are, we are making merry in the government house. I'm excited. I'm excited. The, the verdict, I'm excited. The what do you have to say about it? First, I want to say a very big thank you to God Almighty who kept us alive to see this moment. Secondly, I was asked, so, someone had asked me, I told them that it is a victory for the common man. It is a victory for you and I who cannot enter the government house. It is a victory for some of us who are not political appointees yet. Because the governor, we are sure, that he would improve the life of the common man. We heard recently that he has started SME loan to give to people who have businesses, people who have ideas, but because of capital, they cannot. We have also heard that he wants to um, re-engineer the agricultural sector. He's creating jobs. So this is a victory. We are, we are going out of the God for that is him. We are going out of the uh, monopolistic set of governance. We, are, we now have a youth as a governor, a youth that can understand what you feel and what I feel. So I want to say for the fifth time that this is government and the governance of the common man. And we are grateful to God. Okay, now we see that this environment is filled with people that are happy about the actions of the Supreme Court that um, Fubara is the bona fide governor of River State. Do you think this happiness flows outside? Like other persons outside are still happy about this same thing? I think that it is like air. Yeah, everybody can breathe it at the same time, regardless of where they are. The victory of Seminale Fubara yeah, it can be felt by everybody, both those in the APC and those in the PDP. We already, we already have an APC federal government, and then we have a PDP, but we have heard the governor claim allegiance to the federal. He's always saying renewed hope. He's always saying he's with the federal. So it means that the two parties in the state that are predominant are working together. If the PDP governor is telling you 
that he's already with the APC Federal. It means everybody is carried along. So I can tell you for a fact that everybody is happy. Okay, thank you very much. Now, eh, as regards weakest issue in this current issue, now we know uh, Fubara now is a bona fide governor of River State. What do you suggest, what do you think is your opinion that should happen to Wike? Should we set aside or should we still meddle in reverse politics as regards to Bara, his political godson? I think, like everybody is also thinking, after ruling, you step That's aside. Bayasa State Governor did it. So, uh, uh, the former governor is not disturbing the current governor of Bayasa. Governance is being felt. We have had people who have ruled. Theodore Oji allowed Ibazu to rule. We did not feel any of this. So I think we came should step aside and allow governance. That is my feeling. Okay, one last question now. What is your advice to Governor Fubara as regards those persons that contested with, with him in the governor? You, I think you have already answered. Carry everybody along. Great, the, the platforms are much. Carry everybody along. And I believe that everybody will be happy with the governor. You can turn over, turn over the camera. That is the governor. The governor is coming to celebrate. Okay, thank you.